Welcome back to my studio. I'm Bea Group and I love to inspire you. It is all about art journaling, painting, collage, assemblages and anything else that sparks my interest. So enjoy! Hey everybody, welcome back to my studio. So glad you're here. Now today I want to play with my stamps and my stencils and I was thinking I'm going to make some ATCs for those who don't know, ATCs are artists trading cards and the measurement is um, 2.5 by 3.5 that's the official standard uh, artist trading card measurement what i do is i do have my base in this size 2.5 by 3.5 inch but i make an additional um, actual where i'm gonna make my artwork piece of mixed media paper or watercolor paper or whatever you want to do your work on which is about a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the black I just like the kind of border that gives that ties in everything together but that's obviously personal preference uh, you can do your things however you want now I'm thinking I'm gonna do some slightly vintagey I mean they're not real vintage I just play vintage with um, flowers I do use the same mixed media paper which is by the way from Tarlands it is uh, a 250 gram per square meter or 120 pound mixed media paper I have used that as a base for my cards but I also gonna stamp on that but I'm not gonna stamp on the just plain white with the flowers I to stamp on the white with the black stays on uh, ink with uh, my quote or word field notes that's what I use the stays on for but for the flowers I actually use first of all the embossing ink and then some black embossing powders but I also gonna use a paper which I have already beforehand I mean I don't think you need to see that sprayed with some distress spray stain uh, tea dye and antique linen and um, on top i have some glimmer mist the vintage brass i don't think the camera picks it up yeah maybe you can see it it's just a subtle sheen just i just like it the way it is i don't want it really shiny shiny but the subtle sheen i really like so that's what i'm going to use for stamping my flowers and the butterfly which is still in my box of my stamps so what else i gonna use i gonna use my stencil with some matte uh, well it says finca which means it's a house in portugal i think the, the type of house in portugal which is a yeah sort of like a wall color that's what i gonna use with my stencil I also gonna use some ribbon which I actually gonna sew on and my sewing machine is over on the other side I gonna switch camera for that when I'm sewing I also have some old map which I gonna use and I think I'm not sure yet I gonna mount that on this uh, craft cardstock we'll see besides that I have some uh, double-sided tape and my glue stick I think that's it for the materials obviously I need a scissor to cut them out yeah if I missed something I'm gonna mention it during the video with no further ado I'm gonna make me a little bit room and I'm starting with the background of my white cardstock pieces and I'm gonna show you just one and then yeah it's always the same for the background I mean there's one thing I forgot to mention I'm gonna use a cosmetic sponge for my uh, applying the paint through my stencil on my cards okay where is my stencil here we are now that is the hard medallion a four size uh, stencil which has a large uh, but also a small 
and I often when I do make stencils I think also in, uh, in terms of uh, how can I make it how can I use it on the ATCs not just in the art journals or in the art rack but I want it also for my ATCs because I love ATCs they are fun and uh, yeah those mini artworks are fun to make And for those who are in my Facebook group, Bears Mixed Media and more, I'm gonna um, have them, I mean three people from this group if, can win one of those ATCs. So that's my first one. The really nice thing with this paint, which is, uh, where did I put it, which is actually for the walls, it's a matte color and um, it dries really quick. I mean, there's an advantage and there is a disadvantage. You are ready pretty soon for the next step, but you have to work rather quickly because it's already dry what's here on, the, on my palette. What I like to do, I use um, these fun foams which I have glued, oh, I think I used the tape, yeah, double sided tape and put them together so there's even more cushion to give a little bit of leeway because uh, I stopped using e -set mount, I prefer to have just a naked rubber stamp and just have one of those silicone uh, pads which are self-adhesive so that's what I use for um, putting up my stamp it's easy you can clean it and it's yeah it's just handy So that is my first one. Now I'm going to stamp all my other thingies and then I will be back. Now I have already fussy cut my elements. I like to prepare all my elements ahead before I put together my ATC. Just I do not have an exact plan when I do those kind of things. I know I want to use certain elements and then I go from there. I rarely have an exact plan. I just watch where it leads me. Now, while I was fuzzy cutting those butterflies, I know I said they're going to be just sort of vintage color, but I love color. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm going to try out, if I use one of those Tombow markers, what happens? Just to give it a little bit of a tint, and I think I like it, but I don't apply it directly. I'm going to pick it up with my water tank brush. So I don't have a mark. Just can't resist a little bit of color. Oh, that's now more than what I wanted. Let's see if I can spread it a little bit. Yeah, that's the lightness I want.
Remember we have used those two spray stain, tea dye and antique linen, and I also have the tea dye as a pad, so I'm gonna go around the edges, but I need a little bit of protection for my table. There's some, whoops, maybe I should use that. <laughs> There's some glimmer on here, no idea why. Anyway. So I'm going to use this to go around the edges. Now, I also want to use some of these ribbons and I have that since I don't know since when. But I actually want to use the sewing machine and with some black thread. No, actually it's a dark grey I'm going to use. Uh, first of all, I'm going to attach this to my cord and then I go around and it is over on the other side. So I'm going to switch camera and we, I'll see you there. As always, when I do uh, sew on paper, I take the largest stitch, the largest stitch I have on my machine and it's going to be a straight stitch, nothing fancy. And as I said, I have some, you can't see it, but I have some gray. Yeah, it is a very loud machine, so I'm gonna mute the sound. Now somehow I lost my audio files here, so I have to step in with the voiceover. What you see me doing here is just knotting off the threads. I decided for this time I don't want any hanging threads, but that's personal preference again. And now I'm just finishing up and putting together my three ATCs. As I have mentioned many times already, I don't start with an exact plan, an exact layout. I just know what kind of elements I want to use and then I arrange them when I'm there. Now I also have the goal for those ATC that each one of them looks a little bit different. So you can see me here even cutting back elements because I thought the stem is too long. It's my artwork, I can do with it what I want. And so can you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you are a member of the Facebook group Bears Mix Media and more, I will post the pictures there and of course the video too, if I don't forget. <laughs> anyway, uh, you have the chance to win one of those three cards. So if you are interested and not a member yet, why not joining the group? I will have the link down below in the description as always. As you can see here on the screen, I switch between using my glue stick, I'm using the craft glue, but I also gonna use the double-sided tape. Just whatever works for the moment. Not every glue situation is the same. Okay, here I am with my three ATCs. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon somewhere online. Take care, bye.